What's up, y'all? Just so you know, in this video, I'll be talking about one question. Where do I find my autofill passwords on iPhone? Now, with that being said, your smartphone is very convenient. You pretty much have everything in the palm of your hands, whether it's internet access you need to get on social media to look up a work-related file, or if it's internet access that you might need to just communicate with the outside world to keep you updated on current events. Everything is in the palm of your hand with an iPhone or any other smartphone at that. As far as having everything convenient with you, as far as in the palm of your hand, you have the good and the bad that comes with that. Now, the good is with that convenience, you don't have to, oh, write your passwords on a piece of paper, it's all on your phone. So there's a few different areas where you can use autofill on your iPhone. But in this video, particularly what I'm gonna be talking about is the area where you can use autofill using your username or um, like an email address or username you just created for a website and password as well. Now, all of these are conveniently stored on the iPhone and you have access to them. Another area that I will be talking about is the part where you can use like um, autofill for credit and debit card information. So you'll be able to store your credit card information on there and use it on various websites at your convenience. So in another video, I'll be talking about the bad side to having this convenience on your phone, which pretty much you personally give scammers access to this information for them to benefit off of it. You probably wonder like, okay, how the hell will I give somebody permission to do that? So just stay tuned, because I'm gonna be talking about that particular scam that's going on now, today. So with that being said, let's get straight into it. Um, the first step is to go to settings on your iPhone. Once settings pop up, you wanna go to passwords and accounts. So here you have like different accounts. So like at the bottom, you have like all your email addresses. At the top, it says website and app passwords. Um, on mine, it says 397. So um, anywho, so um, below that, it says autofill passwords. So you wanna make sure that you have this switch toggled on. Um, so you can like toggle it off, you could toggle it on. Make sure it's toggled on. That way, when you do save your usernames and passwords, it will give you the option to use those save usernames and passwords in Safari and other apps as well. So click on website and app passwords. It's gonna ask for either your face ID, depending on what type of phone you have, or it's gonna ask for your fingerprint, depending on the phone that you have. So right now you see a screen that shows a bunch of various websites um, that I've used my usernames and passwords on for these websites. So pretty much like if I was to click on, let's see, this one right here, which is, what is um, alexanddanny.com. Um, I hope I said that right, whatever it is. Um, in pretty much the first box, it says your username. And then it says the second box is like your password. So you pretty much, you can go to this site and uh, let's see, I'm gonna go to it on Safari. And so, if I want to sign in, I would just click the email address. These are the autofill pretty much boxes um, where your your username or your email address and your password will go. So if you click one, it gives you an option to use the password that you have saved up under those um, websites and um, um, account passwords. So pretty much you would click it and then you click right below where it says password for this website. Click it. And now it's going to ask for your face ID or it's going to ask you to use your fingerprint depending on the phone that you have. And then pretty much it fills in auto fills um, your username and password. So then you click sign in. And now I'm signed in pretty much to the site. So that's just one example of where you can use your auto fill um, passwords and accounts. So let's go back to website and app passwords. Every time you exit it, it's gonna ask for your face ID or your fingerprint or your passcode to your phone. So here too, you can pretty much like click on any one of these um, websites that shows your usernames and passwords and you can edit the fields as well. So say for example, you, you changed your password on your computer but it didn't um, update on your phone. So you can just click the edit button and then you can like just click like your username and you could just like 
delete or change it to you know anything that you you know you changed your username to or and the same thing goes for your password as well so I'm gonna put that back and you can um, delete it as well so you click like edit um, you can delete like the website pretty much like if you don't want um, that account password and username to be saved up under that website you could just hit delete so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to um, the autofill for credit and debit cards make sure you go to settings and then you want to look for Safari Safari is right here so click on Safari and then you want to scroll down to where it says autofill click autofill um, you should see a screen that says use contact info and at the bottom it says credit cards that's like a little toggle switch right here make sure that's toggle on so then you can save your credit cards um, or debit cards to your phone so you can use them on different sites so I'm gonna click save credit cards now it's gonna ask for your face ID and or your fingerprint depending on the phone that you have so now you have a list of all credit and debit cards that saved to your phone with expiration dates um, and then you can put like a description of the type of credit card that you have um, so you can you know know unless you already know like you know the actual numbers on the card but you can pretty much sort them or whatever so and you can like edit so you can edit and you can delete the credit card completely from your phone or you can like let's say you accidentally put in the wrong number for the credit card so you could just click that field and just change like a number or something and as well as the name and the expiration date. Yeah, I don't think it saves the um, the CVV code. I guess you would have to either remember that or what I would do is I would just put it in the description so then you would, you know, you can know that you have it there. So instead of putting like um, the description, um, my, my name and the car, I could just put the last three and you know, the type of car maybe. All right, so I just want to thank everybody for watching. Um, hopefully it was very informative. You were able to catch on what I was talking about, follow the steps so you can view your own autofill passwords and edit, delete, all that good stuff for your credit and debit card information as well. Uh, share this with somebody else. I know this is kind of like um, something that probably a lot of people already know, but then there's a lot of people that don't really know how to do it too. So Hopefully I was able to help someone and you'll be able to do the same by liking and sharing this video as well. And don't forget to stay tuned for my next video, which I'm probably going to include a link somewhere up in this area once it's done. And uh, yeah, check that out and stay safe out there, people.